This channel do not condone piracy of any kind. Asking for, providing or discussing illegal download links is not allowed. <laughs> Hello Game Daddies, Game Daddy here, and welcome to our channel where you're never too old for video games, and we're all about to dive into the world of emulation on Android. In today's exciting episode, we'll be talking about Citroen and Mandarin, so grab your joysticks and game on. Before we start if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please subscribe, and hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be updated with the latest news, tutorials, and anything about emulation on Android. Let's go! Let's talk about Switch emulation on Android with Citroen. Zephyrin just released a new version of Citroen. Version 0.4. In this update 0.4 brings significant improvements to graphics rendering, service implementations, memory handling, and user interface. This update focuses on enhanced game compatibility, particularly for titles like The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Donkey Kong Country Returns HD plus more. I made some game tests using Citroen 0.4 just for you, you can watch my videos by tapping here. And not just that, Zephyrin also announced the public release of a new turnip driver, the Biosensor Adreno Turnip Driver. It is a commonly recognized GPU driver by the community, and upgraded to safer Vulkan version to ensure compatibility with newer GPU drivers such as Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. So if you have saw Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 you can test this driver by downloading the GPU driver in the description box below, feel free to check it out. Moving on, let's talk about Nintendo 3DS emulation on Android with Mandarin. Gamer64 the lead developer of Mandarin announced that Azahar is taking too much time to release, and for the meantime he will resume the development of Mandarin. And now Clytus one of the contributor of Mandarin released the latest version of Mandarin, version 1.2 with initial implementation of multiplayer feature. And on the top of that Clytus also mentioned about a new 3DS emulator named Bork 3DS. Bork 3DS is a combination of all Citra forks in one package and said to be merged soon with Azahar in the future. Inspire me to make more videos like this by subscribing to the channel. 